Hello everybody, this is Tan Tan here. Welcome back to my channel. And I have a brand new Earthrise figure to show you. Here we have Transformer Generation Earthrise Sunstreaker, which I think gonna appear in the upcoming prequel of Wolf of Cybertron Siege Earthrise. And so here we have him. And first and foremost, let's have an overview look at him. Upon looking at his Lamborghini Ultimate Mode, I must say that Takara and Hasbro has done a really great job of recapturing what he looks like in G1 because this is not very new but Sunstreaker has never got another alternate mode besides a Lamborghini this is what I think for the toys I have because I did the review on the masterpiece Sunstreaker once a while ago you can check out that review in my channel and anyway looking from this angle a lot of you may think that he got, he got a same vibe, same feeling toward Wheeljack. So for comparison, I'm gonna bring in Wheeljack right now. So here we have both of them, and as you, as you can see, they both strike me as a, some kind of really modern, expensive cars. In this case, a Lamborghini. But as for the feeling from Sunstreaker, I'm gonna pick him up now, so you can see. Sunstreaker is more like a, a expensive car for celebrities as you can see oh that really nice angle and detail exterior details just make him look expensive but otherwise than that compared to wheeljack wheeljack is more of a race car due to all his stickers and marks and besides if you look at the windshield sh section sunstreaker windshield is clearly made out for the viewing purpose but if you look onto wheeljack that is solely for the aerodynamic of a race car and speaking of the windshield, that's one point I really enjoy about Sunstreaker, which is his windshield. Because as you see, that is a really nice clear blue plastic, and they painted yellow and black onto it, which make it really nice. Really highlight the vehicle mode of Sunstreaker. The front of the vehicle mode of these two is also different, as you can see here. It's all for the purpose of the design, like I said. Sunstreaker is more like a household car for rich people and it's painted black and got a silver painted light over there but as for Wheeljack there's hardly any light and that is a front section made for aerodynamic purpose that is the big difference between them so here we have Sunstreaker with Earthrise Bumblebee and here we have him next to Earthrise Optimus. As for transformation, first I'm gonna remove this smokestack or engine part over here out for easier purpose. Split out this bottom part with your arms over here. Bring out the hands. Then you can remove this whole section out. Sorry, my wheel just gone off. You will bring up the head. Next, turn the whole body section out like that. And do this will become the chest. You can just bring it up like that and split out this section and just pull down the leg just like you've done with Wheeljack and now rotate the whole waist section over here and this will be the feet just bend it up just like that and split out this panel here and the same one And bring down the two arms over here. And then reattach this silver piece onto the back. And you are done. So here we have some Streaker in his robot mode. And I must say I really enjoy his color scheme. The yellow is really nice. He got some black highlights onto the arms and the leg section. And I must say the Autobot logos, which is really spot on. Guess that is red on the base of gold. And of course, there you still have his beautiful clear blue windshield from the Ultimate Mode. I really enjoy his look of him. And if you turn him around, really slick 
and aerodynamic and I just love that there's barely any cables I love this mode this mode is really amazing this uh, mode from Wheeljack is really did me a favor of getting me good transformer figures with affordable price and many of you compare this guy to Wheeljack so I'm gonna bring Wheeljack in so you can see as you can see here Sun Streaker is a little bit taller than Wheeljack I think that's because of the leg this is clearly some app sun to him but anyway the arms is also an improvement because I feel like with some stricter design they don't feel like they have to stick onto that design of Wheeljack with the wheels onto the arms which is really awkward and also you don't have that massive hand guards on the arm as well so I think this is a really great robot mode and I really, I really enjoy him so now let's get to the details of him so here we got the face which is a really nice black and silver painted piece with some yellow highlights onto the side and this face makes some trigger looks kind of old not that mean old old but like old with a lot of experience on battles and I really enjoy this this give him a good personality and I'm gonna bring in the masterpiece version of him as you can see the masterpiece gave us a much more less detailed face than to the upright version and also looks a lot younger so myself personally, I would prefer the Earthrise version of Sun Streaker than the Masterpiece. The hands here are also, the arms here are highlight. As you see, this yellow panel over here is actually a painted and over a black piece of plastic. And to me, that is a really nice highlight. A little bit of kind of darker tones of yellow, but I would prefer that. It's a highlight for the arm guard and I really enjoyed it. And if you look closely here, the hands is also amazingly detailed. So there will be a, a lot of panel lines opportunity. So if you're interested, I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to panel line the transformer to highlight all the details they give us. And I think he looks great, really great, until hit this arm here. And especially if you turn him around, and as you see, this section over here, this feels like kind of an armor, and you got some holes onto it. If you turn him around like that, as you can see, that adds a lot of dimension onto his sh shoulders. Because it's just make him look like he had got some armor on. Unlike with the Masterpiece Sun Stricker, as you can see, the arm is kind of soft and weak. And up to my taste, this guy's better. Up to the MP version of him. Moving down to the legs, as you can see, this panel here is crazily nice detailed. This is a really nice add up to him. I really enjoyed this. As you can see, there's just a lot of mechanical details, and it is just beautiful to me, in my own opinion. But if you look onto the masterpiece version, it gets a plane, and this is going nowhere to me. So I'm, I'm, at this point here, the Earthrise version is way more better than the masterpiece version. And if you come down to the feet as well, I just love the way that they have this both size headlights that just look great to me. And I think this is a really care to details, so that no matter what, you can still have details on both the size, and I really impressed by that. I'm re I, re I really do. And if you turn on to the back, as you can see here, he got a really nice detail as well over here. That would be great for panel lines opportunity. So I'm gonna hope for that I can panel line this time really soon, and to show you as a tutorial. And if you move to the back section over here. As you can see, this guy has a really a really clean back and I just love it. It's not a too much of a cable, unlike the masterpiece version. I'm gonna bring it in. As you can see, you got a massive cables over here and we just look disgusting. And I also enjoy the way that that silver panel can be detached. And so you don't have to... I would rather have a little bit of parts forming than have to got that massive cables. This is my choice. I don't know what do you guys think, but this is my choice. The back panel can be removed and to place upon him up to his many holes as a gun, which looks stupid. I would prefer to have it onto the sides of his arm. It's rather being uh, like a shield with uh, some extra fire powers. I would prefer it that way. That looks a lot more better. Articulations. While we start with the head, his head can look up and down a little bit. Can do a full 360. His arm can bring out this. Far and he can do a full rotation. He got a arm swivel. That and he got an elbow bend, 90 degrees elbow bend. But 
and his hand is on the same old kind of hand for Transformer. And he got a waist swivel. Really good articulation. And he got a kick to the front, like that, and kick to the back. And he can do a beautiful split. Like that. Now let's move on to the. We got a thigh swivel. And you got a bended knee, which is 90 degrees. And you got some pivot onto the feet, just like that. Really good pivot. And you got some toe bend as well. So that will be it for articulation. So here we have Sun Streaker with Earthrise Bumblebee. And here we have him next to Earthrise Optimus. Uh, here's Sun Streaker with his masterpiece counterpart. So that will be for Sun Streaker today. What do you guys think of him? To me, he will be my favorite Sun Streaker figures. And I will throw out the masterpiece version. He's the Imperial now. And also subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And if you feel like I deserve your help and help, want to help me out with, your, with up, upcoming future figures, feel free to buy me a coffee at this link in the description. So, that's all now.